Hi, everyone, and welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global connectivity, real estate, and the networks within. We're here coming to you live from the floor of ITW 2024 uh, in National Harbor, just outside of DC. So pleased to be joined by our friend Bill Severn, CEO of 1623 Farnham. So great to have you. Thanks for having me, Barb. Yeah. Pleasure. So nice to see you here at ITW and get to catch up and yeah. uh, talk a little bit what's happening at uh, Farnham, 1623 Farnham. Tell us a little bit though first, we're on day one here of yeah. ITW. What, what's your experience so far? Experience, uh, I've gotten, had a lot of great meetings with a lot of folks. The attendance is really great and looking forward to the next couple of days. Yeah. So tell us a bit about what you're, the work you're doing at 1623 Farnham. I know one of the big issues um, the industry is facing right now is around capacity, mm -hmm. driven, of course, by things like AI and machine right. learning. What's, what's your take on that? From yeah, it's a, it's a really great question. And a lot of the narrative that you hear out in the public today is the shortage. And, and we're hearing that as well. A lot of those deals, though, are 5, 10, 20, 25 megawatt deals. We're not really focused on those at the interconnection facility. But secondarily, five and a half years ago when we acquired 1623 Farnham, we made a bet that capacity would be really important in five and seven years out. Yeah. And so five and a half years ago, we built, we upgraded the entire building. And so we didn't do a floor at a time but we did the entire building, all new mechanical, all new electrical, wow. just for this position. Amazing. And so we're in a great position when it comes to capacity at Farnham, and we feel great about what we have from a capacity standpoint for the next three to five years. Amazing. Yeah. I, I, I would like to give you a crystal ball and ask you a few questions. If well, you there's mind. a lot of luck in that, Barb. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, and just sort of knowing, seeing what's happening, seeing what's coming, being on top of, of the trends mm -hmm. of the market. Well, and if you think about it, we did that all during COVID. And right. we just installed the last three generators to bring us the last three megawatts of redundant power at the building yeah. in January. The POs for those generators were cut two years previous. Oh, wow. So yeah. it's not just capacity shortage today, but how do you, it's supply chain issues as well. Yeah, yeah. such an yeah. important point. I mean, I mean, that fueling some of the conversation, I think, right? People thinking now, you know, the, the path ahead is a long one if people are just thinking about it now. So kudos Absolutely. to you for getting ahead of it. Yep. Um, let's talk too about Farnham's ecosystem of connectivity. Uh -huh. I think that that's uh, something maybe you can speak to as well. Yeah, I love it. Uh, we made... You know, we drove our thesis uh, for the last five years about building the correct ecosystem in the building, driving value to everybody that's in the building, more value. And so, we, you know, we purchased the IX. I think that's one of the you know, things you're leading to. Yeah. And um, it's building the correct ecosystem of the right content, the right carriers, the right eyeball networks in the, in the IX driving capacity. One of the things that we're most proud of is in 2023, we saw a five-fold increase in daily peering traffic within our IX. Oh, wow. And really excited in uh, Q3, we'll have a couple of announcements on some really strategic pieces of content that we're gonna add to the IX a little okay. later this year. All right, well, we'll wait then. We I wanted to at ITW, but we didn't get a- Not we didn't, quite yet. Yeah, right, yeah. not quite yet. Well, we'll have more to talk about then later that's in the right. year, so that's yeah. good. Uh, so. So last thing I want to touch on with you is just obviously there are some of these big issues that we've already talked around about around connectivity and um, capacity, but but also one of the things that really matters to people is who they're working with and, yeah. and how um, who they can rely on and, and what that service looks like. How, do, how does Farnham 1623 Farnham approach that? Yeah, it's another good question. Uh, you know, in this industry, there are certain workloads that will be required to be in certain areas of the country. And so customer service really isn't as important. Yeah. But I'll start with the foundation. And we have a culture of customer service within our company. Yeah. And we're proud of that. We've got an, a, a, a culture of empowerment. And so our employees are empowered to make decisions to do the right thing for the customer. Right. There will always be friction, you know, when you're negotiating rates or a contract. But as soon as that's done, we like to say, we want the customer experience to be frictionless and let them hit the yeah. easy button. And and we think that's paid off big for us 
And we have a number of global customers that are telling us today, you know, either we wish you had another site or if I have additional capacity around the globe, I want to bring it to you because of the experience. Yeah. And so we're, we're really proud of that. Yeah, that's definitely a testament yeah. Yeah. Uh, to the work that you're doing. So yep. Yep. Um, anything else you want to leave us with? I know it's a busy, busy show, and I'm sure you have lots of people to chat to uh, other than us. So. It is, it is. Uh, we've got about 25 meetings in the next two days wow, and yeah. uh, back to back to back and really look forward to uh, moving the business forward and really, really excited about all the things we've got going on at Farnham. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Barb, you, thank you. Yeah, we really yeah. appreciate you taking the time out to chat yeah. with us. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in today to JSA TV. Until next time, happy networking.